Welcome to the BrewBomb setup video. Let's get started by installing the flow electronics. The flow sensor mounts on the left side on the three stubs on the bottom of the BrewBomb. Attach the flow sensor with the top facing up and it is directional. Next, let's mount the shutoff valve. It is also flow directional. Mount the arrow so that it is pointing toward the flow sensor. Plug the shutoff valve into the wiring harness. Next, let's hook up the water line between the shutoff valve and the flow sensor. All of the electronics use push-in fittings, so just use your PE pipe and push the PE pipe into the push-in fitting. Let's connect the flow sensor to the manual control valve. On the front left corner of the brew bomb is a small hole. This is where a small clip attaches to hold the end of the line that feeds the rain head when the rain head is not in use. This will keep the line from falling on the floor. Next, let's mount the cylinder into the table. Align the brackets with the six slots on the table top. The rain lid goes on top of the cylinder. The nozzle stub mounts inside the clamp on the rain lid. For your first installation, you may need to remove the nylon clamping device in the clamp and place it on the nozzle stub separately. You'll only need to do this for your first installation. Once done, place the nozzle down into the clamp assembly and lightly tighten the clamp. Next, let's mount the water supply to the nozzle stub that comes from the manual control valve. Okay, now we're gonna set up the bottom filter screen. The brew bomb comes with an articulating arm and a hand wheel. On top of the hand wheel post, place a platen. The platen has a handle and two slots. The handle and the slots must be mounted facing forward. On top of the platen goes a perforated screen, and the perforated screen has two small stubs. Those stubs mount facing down and align with the slots in the platen. Place your PE filter on top of the perforated plate, and move the entire assembly under the, under the brew cylinder. Align the six slots on the perforated plate with the six attaching brackets. Once aligned, raise the whole assembly by turning the hand wheel. Do not raise past the point where the cylinder is lifting off the table. Once aligned, you will attach the perforated plate to the cylinder using the T-pins. Go ahead and install the T-pins, making sure that the wing nuts are mounted flush to the edge of the perforated plate. Once the perforated plate is attached with all six T-screws, go ahead and lower the platen, rotate the arm to the forward position, remove the platen, and then rotate the bar arm to the back position and out of the way. Next, we'll mount the collection funnel. The collection funnel has six tabs. Those six tabs push up through grooves in the perforated plate then just rotate the collection funnel slightly one direction or the other, and the tabs will sit on top of the perforated plate. Let's set up the discharge system. Start by mounting the control valve onto the half inch NPT stub on the bottom of the collection funnel. To that, push in a piece of approximately two inch PE pipe and attach the strainer. This is not a filter, but just a strainer to collect, catch any foreign items that may have gotten into the, into the brew. The strainer is flow directional. Put in a small piece of PE pipe that will then feed the catch cart. Let's set up the control box. 
The control box sits on the left corner of the table and is powered through a 12 volt wall transformer unit. You'll need to plug the unit in twice. The second time you plug the unit in loads the program. Next, connect the flow sensor and the shutoff with the connector. Align the white dots and slightly turn the connector to the right. Let's hook up the main water supply to the shutoff valve using the push-in fitting. Let's roll the collection cart underneath the brewer. Noting that the lid has two holes, position the holes to the rearward on the collection cart as these holes is where you'll, your cold brew discharge will feed the collection bin. And you're finished, congratulations, you're ready to start brewing.